Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and iOS 13.3 beta 1 is here bringing a few new features and changes to iOS some really important ones and of course the usual bug fixes and improvements that we get with every iOS update. Now this is quite a huge update it will come to your device at around 3 gigs a bit more than 3 gigs and that of course will be different on different devices and of course it has fixed a huge bug of iOS 13.2 which hopefully we will get also fixed before the release of iOS 13.3 because it is quite a huge update it should take like five or six betas before it gets released and you can expect it to be released sometime around December so hopefully Apple will release iOS 13.2.1 to fix those bugs that are already known on iOS 13.2 and are really really annoying so hopefully Apple will do that very very soon so let's get into iOS 13.3 beta 1 and see the new features and changes that this update has brought to iOS 13. Starting off with the messages app now on iMessage you will get a new menu when you 3 the touch on a message so you will get this menu where you can copy the message or if you tap more then you will be able to go to the menu which allows you to select and delete the messages so of course you will have here the delete button you have delete all and the cancel right there so on any message that you do like the 3d touch you will get this new menu from now on on iOS 13.3. You will also get this new pop-up that asks you to update the contact info on iMessage. Now, I got this from Reddit. I didn't get this myself. I got this from Reddit, this picture that was posted on iOS beta on Reddit. And you can see right there when a contact of yours will update their info, you will get like this pop-up here asking you to update the contact information right there. So, of course, you will have like two different buttons, one to update the contact info and the other one that allows allows you to ignore those updates. And the biggest change, the biggest new feature of iOS 13.3 is found under screen time and that's communications limits. Now this has been on the first few betas of iOS 13 that of course was removed by Apple and now is finally back with iOS 13. It's in iOS 13.3 of course. Now it's interesting how Apple is just adding like with every update adding these features that they first showed on the first few betas of iOS 13 and then they removed them but now they're finally back most of them I believe and here is communication limits basically what it does is that it lets you set limits based on your contacts so all you gotta do is just go here and then you will see like a menu here and you can choose where you want to allow communications you can go here and of course enter your passcode and then you can allow communications for everyone or contacts only so you can do that right here and then you will also have here group communications you can allow people to be added to group conversations when one of your contacts or a family member is on the group so you can enable that from here and then you have here during downtime you can allow which your con your contacts or what you want to be able to contact during downtime so if you go right here we'll have contacts only or you can choose only a specific contact or different a few different contacts just go right there and then you can choose from your contacts or you can add a new contact directly from there so anytime you do that you will be able to tap right there to go to your contacts list or add right here and you can choose a new contact and then during downtime the only contact that will be able to be contacted will be that one that you enter right there or you choose right there so you can also have here and you have a different button right here to also enable allow contact editing so that allows someone that has access to that contact to also edit that contact another new change on the screen time settings is right here on see all activity if you go right here you will have your activity and then at the top right there you will have devices now this has changed here it will only show active devices now previously it used to show you also your devices that are inactive and that's fortunately has changed now and it will only show the devices that are currently active Another smaller change here on iOS 13.3 is the redesign of the icon of the watch app. Now that's a very very slight redesign, it's very hard to notice but if you compare the older one to this new one you can notice there a bit of a redesign on the watch icon right there on the home screen. 
A new iOS 13.3 feature that I see a ton of people are loving is the ability to now disable Memojis on your keyboard. So basically Memoji stickers will be on your keyboard with iOS 13.2 and earlier, but with iOS 13.3, you will have the ability to enable or disable them. So of course, Apple is quite big on the emoji, Memoji, all that stuff. And they have added Memoji stickers, which are new on iOS 13. But now you will have the ability to disable them and you can do that by going to your settings, go to general, go to keyboard. And if you scroll down here, you will find a new section that is called Memoji stickers. It's called emoji. And then you have this Memoji stickers option right here, which allows you to enable or disable them from the keyboard. Now you will see right here, if I go to my keyboard and I go to the emoji keyboard, right here on the left side, I will have the Memoji stickers. And of course you can now disable them simply by going to settings. You can see you just turn off that right there. And once I go back, there are no Memoji stickers anymore right there on the keyboard of the emoji. So you can see this works really fast. So you enable that immediately, they will show on the keyboard. Of course you disable that, they will go away immediately. Another change that I have noticed is with 3D touch menus. They appear to be much smoother and faster. And I believe this is a change that has impacted only devices that have a real like 3D touch screen, like the iPhone 6s up to the iPhone 10s. I believe that's the, the last one that has a 3D touch screen or the 10. I'm not sure about that, but other devices don't see that other people don't see that I have seen like mixed reports. And from what I have noticed is that only devices that have like the real 3D touch screen will have this change. So the 3D touch seems much, much faster. Also, another change that I have noticed is that, you know, with 3D touch, whenever you touch like on the screen, you pop a menu, you 3D touch on an icon anywhere, you get like a sound like a click. That's of course a sound from the software. And I have noticed that before that wasn't appearing all the time. Now, I used to 3D touch on the icons or on the control center. Sometimes I got that sound, sometimes not, but now it seems very, very good. So every time I 3D touch on any menu or any icon, I will get that sound on iOS 13.3 beta one. Since the release of iOS 13.2, we have seen a ton of reports regarding the RAM management of iOS 13.2. It was really, really poor, like apps that you have on the app switcher, you would have like to reload them every time you open them. So you leave apps on the app switcher, they should be ready in the background. And once you open them, they should be ready. But with iOS 13.2, they seem to just reload. So multitasking, app man, RAM management was really, really bad. And it's still bad on iOS 13.2. I hope Apple will release like iOS 13.2.1 and fix that really, really soon because that's really, really annoying on everyday use. You have like to reload apps every time you want to open them, even though they open on the app switcher and they should be ready right there for you to basically start using them right away once you load them. But with iOS 13.3, Apple seem to have fixed that issue. So you can see I have a bunch of apps open here and they're working really, really well. So I can switch between them and I still have all of them right there ready to go once I open any one of them. So that's really, really nice, very nice from Apple to do that. Hopefully they will fix that very, very soon on iOS 13.2 and people don't have to wait for the release of iOS 13.3 to get that fixed because that will be probably like more than a month away from now. So hopefully with iOS 13.2.1, Apple will fix that really, really soon because it's a huge bug and it's affecting a lot of people. And of course, we will have a really worst experience using your iPhone having that bug, which is quite big. Another change on iOS 13.3 beta one, and this one is for the worst, is that iOS 13.3 beta one doesn't support Beats Solo Pro. So you have to be aware if you're a Beats Solo Pro user, don't install iOS 13.3 beta one on your device. Now iOS 13.2 does support the Beats Solo Pro, but iOS 13.3 beta one does not. Basically that's a bug of course, 
hopefully it will be fixed with beta 2 but for now if you're a user of the solo pros make sure you stay out of ios 13.3 because you won't have support for your headphones so that's pretty much it for this video guys this is ios 13.3 beta 1 i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe for more ios 13 videos and of course for all the new updates and the new betas that apple will release of ios 13 so that's it thank you guys for watching again don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe for more and i will see you guys on the next one